Hi yogis, it's Patrick. In this segment, we're going to cool down with some hip opening and twists, and that will help us to begin moving into stillness, into Shavasana, or into meditation. <clears throat> so you may need a blanket, and you might need a strap or a, or a belt or a necktie or a dog leash or a rope, whatever you've got to work. Okay, so we're going to start with our legs folded under our bodies and our hips sitting off to the right side. They can sit just barely on the blanket. Your feet will be over to your left, okay? You're gonna cross your left ankle over your right ankle. Then we'll take an easy twist by walking our hands around to the right. You can take your left hand to your outer right knee and your right hand around the back. Take a deep breath into the backs of your lungs and then exhale down into your roots as you lengthen upward through your spine. Inhale and widen your inner body from shoulder to shoulder. Exhale, roll the right shoulder back, bringing that right shoulder blade down the back to assist you in turning your chest. Continue the twist by turning the neck to the right, the chin to the right. Keep your eyes soft. Inhale and release and we'll switch sides. So swing your legs over to the right side of your body, pick up the blanket and bring it over and under your left hip. Okay. Now cross your feet with the right foot on top of the left. Then walk your hands around to your left. As always, begin with your breath. Inhale. Back body full. Exhale, lengthen upward through your spine. Inhale, widen your inner body. And exhale, twist to the left. Keep your left shoulder back, that left shoulder blade pulling down the back. Make sure you're not looking down too much, that's common. Keep your head right over your spine. If it's all right with your neck, turn and look over your left shoulder. Inhale and release. Next, uh, bring your blanket under your sitting bones and your feet together, bada. Kanasana. So pull your feet back towards your body as close as you can for more inner thigh stretch. Then lift your hips up just for a moment. Move them back, sticking your butt out and arching your lower back. And then sit back down so that you have more curve in your lower back. Good. And then I recommend just keeping the hands behind you and leaning back. There are other versions, of course. Inhale, press your feet together. Exhale, widen through your inner thighs. These simpler poses are a great opportunity to turn your practice inward. What might help is to close your eyes or at least soften your gaze. Bring your attention back to your breath. Make your breath more rhythmic, breathing in and breathing out. Notice if the in breath is faster than the out breath or vice versa. And try to make them more and more the same with each round. 
Remember to press your feet together to widen your knees. And then blink your eyes open. Stretch your right leg straight out in front. Bring your left foot up against your right inner thigh, kind of like a tree pose. Now, we'll do Jonas Yusasana, and if you know the version where we take our leg out wide and want to do that, that's fine. This one's just a little bit more easygoing for the low back, and without me there to check on you, this is what I feel great about teaching right now. So, leg straight forward or wide if you can take care of you. Anyhow, bring your fingertips to the floor, framing your front leg. And here's the most important thing. Inhale, draw your low back in, tilt the pelvis forward and create length through your spine. Exhaling, fold forward from the hips. So it's not about rounding or drooping the head down too much. Rather, keep some traction in the hands, lengthen your spine, and make your, your neck a natural extension of your spine. Every in-breath, we find more length, more, more of that flat back. And then with every exhale, more hinge at the hips. So I'm not even going to say uh, curl forward here. You can grab your foot if it's there for you. Uh, you can reach past your foot if that's easy, and you can also use a strap, all right? If there's any strain on your back, then bend your knee a little bit because what happens when we have tight hamstrings, they end up borrowing flexibility from the back, okay? So you may have to split the difference here a little bit. Bend the knees because the most important thing is you keep length in your spine. Walk your hands back towards your body, and let's switch sides. Straighten your left leg, then place your right foot up against your left inner thigh like tree pose. All right, lean forward a little bit, framing your front leg with your fingertips. Inhale, pull back with the fingertips and create length in your spine. You should feel a lot of strength in the low back, kind of pushing in. And exhale, hinge forward at the hips. Move the hands forward accordingly, and inch by inch, breath by breath, we get into these deepest of postures. We're sitting down, and there's an ease to that, but at the same time, the seated hip opening is some of the deepest work we'll do, so alignment is super important, especially for the health of your lower back. I want you to keep it drawing in, keep the spine long and hinge from the hips. There's no shame in bending your knee. I'm sure you're still getting a hamstring stretch, right? Uh, just a little less strain on the back, and that's good. Nice. And come on up. Let's take both legs out nice and wide. So we're looking for about 90 degrees uh, between the legs here, like a square, okay? The tendency is for the legs to externally rotate too much. And I'm doing that right now. You can see that my toes are flopping back. So what I need to do is hug to the midline with my legs. I, I'm not gonna pull them together, but I'll create that action until my inner thighs tone, and I can turn the inner thighs down toward the floor. It's a, it's a lot of work, until the kneecaps are straight up and the toes are straight up, and that's how I want to hold my legs. And just like our other forward fold, we want length in the back. So inhale, draw the low back in, lift the chest up, the chin up. It's almost like doing a back bend into a forward bend. So just hinge at the hips. You can walk those arms out, kind of pull the floor towards yourself. Inhale, firm the legs, turn the inner thighs toward the floor, draw the low back in, chest up, and uh, 
exhale, lengthen through the heels, through the spine, walk those hands forward. The forward folds are a process of turning inward and of moving towards stillness. So I would say that you don't have to make gains with every breath. You can simply begin to be in the posture, to breathe the pose. The longer we're here, the more the body will open, that's obvious. And every once in a while, you adjust your alignment. And every once in a while, another door opens and you're able to go a little further in. back toward my body, take my hands to my outer knees and pull the knees up toward the chest. Next, clasp the hands in front of the knees and pull back to draw the low back in and the chest up. And that should feel really good to the low back after back bends. It's a counter pose. So, that's it for this short segment. Feel free to continue practicing and building on uh, your hip opening and twists, or to end it here. This is a great place to meditate or to take Shavasana. Thank you so much for practicing. Namaste.